Yo guys, my sponsor is doing something pretty cool. If you guys want 15% off your purchase instead of 10% off, use code Mike at checkout. They're also buying coins from people. So if you want to buy coins or if you want to sell coins, either one, head over to CheapMaddenCoins.com. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing today? Welcome back to another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video. We are going to open up some packs, some free Asian packs, and literally as I'm making this video, as I'm recording this video, a huge free agent was just signed. Now, I don't want this entire video to be me talking about free agents, but I figured I'd mention it. Landon Collins was just signed by the Washington Redskins. Hmm, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'm a Redskins fan. I'm excited. It was a, it was a massive contract, but Landon Collins, man, he is a beast of a free safety. He's a young player. It's a great signing, a great pickup. And kind of the wild thing is that he's still going to be in the NFC East, which is like, it's just crazy. Like, he's literally going to go from the Giants to the Redskins. Yo, those matchups, those are going to be interesting next year for sure. So before we get into this uh, free agency bundle that I'm going to open today, I just want to say thank you very much so far on the support of the Pack and Play series. The next episode will be out tomorrow. And then I want to say I, I probably just upload another episode after that. Why not? <laughs> Why not go ahead and do it? So that's probably what we're going to do. I'm going to open up this free agency bundle right here. Guarantees me a 92 to 95 overall player. Guess what? It's not an AT. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, 12,000 points is gone. We got 24 free Asian packs and one 92 to 95 overall free Asian topper. Hopefully my audio is good this video. Sometimes it randomly messes up when I like unplug stuff and I was actually gone for a couple days so I had to unplug some things. Hopefully it's uh it's good in this video but First pack, we get a Jordan Phillips. A lot of these cards are going to be low overalls from what I've seen. It guarantees you an elite player, but uh, an elite can be an 80. So we're just hoping that it's not going to be an 80 overall. Here we go with our free agent player. It's an 83 Mike Mitchell. We also have a set, I want to say, that gets you a 98 overall Earl Thomas. And I want to say a 98 overall Le'Veon Bell. In fact, I'm just going to show you guys that right now. So on a free agency, like I said, there's a set. Essentially, you have to add in a bunch of regular free agent cards. Any of the 92 to 95 overall players, you have to do five of those. You have to do five of the 86 to 89s. You have to do five, or I guess, no, more than five. Yeah, a little bit more. So eight of the 86 to 89s and then a bunch of the 80 to 83 overall. So it'll probably round out to be like 600-ish K to get a Le'Veon Bell or an Earl Thomas. But I mean, if you wait like a week, they'll be down to like 400K. At least that's what I would think. Now, I don't think there's any limited times in packs, but I mean, in these, I think I can. Okay, well, first of all, we just pulled pretty much a goat, Thomas Duarte. If you don't know who he is, well, you're pretty much an idiot. Uh, we, okay, 89 Latavius Murray. We also bought a George Kittle. It's a power-up card, so that's actually a pretty good pull. Next back up, who are we going to get? We get a free agent card, an 83 AJ Can, McCann, something like that. From what I've seen in free agency so far, there's going to be a lot, and I mean a lot of big contracts. I want to say the Raiders signed somebody earlier today. Maybe it was Trent Brown, the offensive lineman, left tackle. I think that's who they signed. So I think the most expensive deal an offensive lineman's ever gotten i might be wrong on that one i might might have misquoted it a little bit but it's kind of unbelievable that he got that big of a deal because i saw a pro football focus article say that he was the 32 ranked best offensive lineman or maybe even best tackle and that's not good like <laughs> that's really not very good and he got the most expensive deal in the history of the nfl for an offensive tackle so i uh, raiders i was excited with that one because i'm like oh you're getting offensive linemen to protect Derek carr because the offensive line has been a big issue for for Derek carr for a lot of his career but after seeing his ratings yikes <laughs> yikes that is that, that doesn't look super good and you want to know what else doesn't look super good these packs big yikes i said it one time i will say it again these packs are not looking good I have a feeling they're not going to be great, but I wanted to rip them kind of to talk a little bit about free agency and also, I don't know, so you guys can see how they are. I figure that's why I do a lot of these pack opening videos, just to see if they're any good. I feel like I pulled AJ Can like five times. I feel like I pulled him so many times. Like, why do I need so many AJ Cans? I got 189 overall. I want to say it was Latavius Murray. You get a Jordan Phillips. I feel like I pulled Jordan Phillips a million times. 
It's Team of the Week player. Low one, 83, 80. Traquan Smith. So we have, I'd say roughly 10 or so free agent packs left. And then we'll get on our way to the topper. We get an Austin Sperry and Jinx. He's probably got some speed, right? 89 speed, six foot five. Maybe a budget beast. He's not the best route runner, but those high balls, those high balls are glitchy. We get Teddy B, Teddy Bridgewater. Might actually do something, uh, uh, 92 throw power. That is surprising. I did not think he had that, like, strong of an arm. Maybe it's because he has a higher overall card, but 83 speed is also pretty fast. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully, we can get ourselves 90, 92, 93, 83. Mike Mitchell, son of a B. <laughs> son of a B. You guys also see I have, like, 5.7 million coins. I have a lot of coins, so I can pretty much do gameplays with whatever cards I want. Honestly, I'm saving my coins for golden tickets because I know eventually you're going to want to see the golden ticket gameplays and I'm going to want to bang them out. So that's uh, that's what I'm hoping we can do with all these coins. Wow, 94 speed. Holy cow. Now, I did hear a couple rumors that there were not going to be any golden tickets coming out this year. Uh, that would be horrible. I would be upset. I would be extremely upset if there were no golden tickets. Now, if you don't know what a golden ticket is, I can explain it for you right now. Essentially what it is, they're literally golden tickets that are put in packs. They, they come out as, you know, a regular card. You pull the golden ticket and then you can create whatever card you want and make it a 99 overall. So like, let's say you're a huge fan of this guy right here, whoever this is. You're a huge fan of Michael Pierce. You can take a Michael Pierce card and you can boost certain ratings or have certain ratings that you want super high and pretty much make them a 99 overall that's that's the best part about a golden ticket now there's a bunch of people who when they do golden tickets i'll do like michael vick or randy moss or calvin johnson and that's like that's cool but like they're gonna get a 99 overall so you probably don't want to give a golden ticket something with like a plus one increase which is what you would do if you did something like a randy moss or a michael vick you want to do something fun like Brandon Dixon, like, does he have crazy stats? No, he's 5'11". Don't want to do that. Jerron Brown, something weird. You know what I mean? You want to have some random 99 overall in the game that might actually be super glitchy or super OP. And like I said, that is what I'm saving all of me coins for towards the end of the year. Here we go. Free agency card. Here it is. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Four more packs left. Four more opportunities for me to get an 80 overall. Here's my 80. Yep. Jimmy Ward. Nice. Okay. 86. And we get a Jordan Richards team builder. That's not horrible, but from what I've seen, I mean, these packs are like 35K on the market, so it's not like they're super fire, super nice, you know what I mean? So if we don't get anything good, I, you know, I've just come to expect that sometimes when we open packs like these, but at least with these packs, you're going to be able to see this bundle topper. I was actually considering just opening these with coins and not spending my money, which it wouldn't have given me a topper, which would have been horrible as we pull another freaking Jimmy Ward. That's not what you want to see. I think we have maybe one, maybe two. Okay, this is the last one. This is the last one. Marcus Golden. We get this heavenly car that ends up only being a 78 overall. A power up. 79 Everson Walls. A gold to Marcus Robinson in the final card is a Jordan Matthews 81 overall. Come on. Dang it. Final card of the video. The 92 to 95 overall free agent player. Give me a 95. Give me a 95. Give me a 95. A 92. Are you serious? Are you serious? What are we doing? You know what? The video is pretty much over, but I'm going to top it off with one ultimate legend fantasy pack. We're just doing one, okay? Just one. We're just going to do this last pack, and then there will be no more packs in the video. We're not going to mess around, but we are going to pull some heat right here. Heat, 85. Jarek off. That might actually go for a mount because uh, of the power-up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We get a Josh Bynes. That's really not what I wanted. <laughs> but either way, uh, we got to go with the power up right there. Actually, that wasn't a power up. What am I doing? We get Marshall Yana. He actually goes for a good amount. We got a Mutt Hero card, 86. Miles Garrett, big, big, big boy. 94 LT. Okay. I can dig it. I think I'm going LT. I think it's an easy choice right there. Let's go. So with that Ladinian Talman simple, we spent 120K to get the pack, and we might have just broke even or maybe made a, a wee bit more. And our bundle topper, Ramon Foster, goes for 100K. Okay, so those packs, that bundle, awful. 
awful. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And guys, I will see you in my next upload. Peace. I'm so, I'm so